Burglar did a little Q&A with John Machoda. Is it Machoda or Machoda? Machoda. Machoda. Mm -hmm. I don't care for that. You don't get to change your name in the middle of the whole I thing. I don't know if he changed I mean, his it. name has always been Machoda. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Dame as far as he says. Dame Brugler with the Cowboys Q&A. Take us through it. Yeah, so uh, John asked him several questions that I think, you know, are, are things that we've been kicking around here. And so relevant perspective here. Are, are you... I tagged you in a highlight the other day, Sean, for B. John Robinson. It was obviously just one. But but did you see it there? Did you see the little bit of Barry there? The way he was able to just wiggle mm. through all the defenders, keep his balance, everything like that? Could you see it? I didn't watch it. You retweeted it. Which means you saw oh, the tweet. You literally just have to... You just did, <laughs> no, you no, no, no. I saw the tweet. I retweeted it. But I've, I've, <laughs> I've seen enough. I've seen enough. I'm going to go back and look at it right now. But I've seen enough. It's not Barry Sanders. You and brought us are you and brought us have either lost your minds or you're being really, really disrespectful to the most elusive football player of all time. And you think that Bijan Robinson has some of that in him. Let's, A bigger Barry Sanders, according to Brian brought us. Let's let's hear what uh Dane Brugler has to say when he was asked, Hey, Bijan Robinson, if he gets there to twenty six, should the Dallas Cowboys take him? Dane Brugler very sharp guy, uh, has, has called several players, been high on several players, was higher on Travis Kelsey than the rest of the NFL years ago. He's he's spot on. He says, Bijan is one of the best talents in this class. You don't pass on Bijan Robinson if you're the Cowboys. <laughs> Coming off the Zeke Aaron Dallas, I think a lot of people are very sensitive to drafting a running back in the first round, but this is not a top five pick. This is late first round, and a player that talent-wise belongs in the top five to seven picks of this draft. You're getting a guy that the tape uh, is awesome and the person is awesome. And here's his breakdown of him. He says he's too special of a player. His elusiveness, his vision, his power. He's the complete package as a runner and as a receiver. The Cowboys should not pass on him if he makes it there. RJ, your response? My response is, first of all, you're absolutely right, Sean. He ain't Barry Sanders. Okay, <laughs> I saw that video too. Uh, wow, it was a really cool cutback he had against West Virginia. Okay. <laughs> wow, Mama. awesome. Yeah. Um, he looks like a Denver Broncos Mike Shan. Okay, this clip was, yeah, it was it was impressive. He had a cut and a spin move. He looks more like a Mike Shanahan one cut and north back. How, how, many, how many, even against West Virginia or whatever that is, I don't even remember who they're playing in the clip. How many yards does Zeke pick up on that run? <laughs> okay, but you're comparing. I know. I'm just saying. I'm not. Listen, I'm, I'm not. I'm just saying. When you when you look at him, I'm saying he's getting in through spaces that are incredibly. Think yeah. about in the the speed of, of the NFL, the game of football. Think about the speed of football. How quickly he's diagnosing where the gaps are, how to get through them, and actually attack it. That's very very rare. Even if you told me he was going to be Zeke in the first four years, I wouldn't draft him at 26. I'm not taking a running back philosophically in the first round just not gonna do it he's he, you know he looks to be more like a clinton portis than anything and even still i wouldn't take him as great as clinton portis was mm -hmm. um you know Todd McShay said that he is like the best that he's scouted since saquon barkley yeah okay i've heard some people say better than saquon yeah from a scouting he's better than Saquon. yeah he actually said more talented than saquon coming out of college so this is feeling like the kyle pitts of running back evaluations. Ooh. That's what it's feeling like. Perfect. Yeah. You think Kyle Pitts was higher? No, I think B. John Robinson's a better player. Okay. okay. So what, I, what uh, I'm saying is everyone and their mother, no one had one negative thing to say. Like, sure. Kyle Pitts is going to change everything. You take him. He is... He's he's revolutionary. He's a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Scores 70 quesadilla or whatever. So I, I went and... Quesadilla? I don't know. Whatever they are. Oh, burgers. I, I, 70 I, burgers. I, yeah, 40 I burgers. Know, I don't know what they are. So I lose I went, track of the foods and... Because everybody says this guy... Well, when you bring up you can't do a running back in the first round, what's the one thing everybody says? Well, this guy's different. Yeah. This guy's different. Exception to the rule. Exception to the rule. So I went back and I looked at it. I did a quick Google search. McShay, this guy's different. I just went, I went and Googled with running backs. I said, running backs, this guy's different. I went and just Googled that one, and I came up with some names. These are the names that were out there mm. that Todd McShay has scouted where he has used the phrase either the exception or this guy's different. Only Great so research. Many, only so many adjectives, Chop. Great research project. Thank I you. love a patented <laughs> RJ Choppy research project. Number one, unequivocally, this guy was different. Adrian Peterson. And he was. And he was he was great for a decade. 
Yeah. Okay. If you told me he's Adrian Peterson, I'm drafting. You. Sure, whatever. You know what? That's fine with me. I, I probably would. Okay. Um, you're getting a decade of high quality play, and for the most part, durability and a game breaker. Yeah. He's the, the next nice. one. So Adrian Peterson was the hot. These I'm going to go in order of grade. He was the highest graded he'd ever scouted sure. as a running back. The next one was Saquon. Eh. Disappointment. Saquon's good when he's healthy. When healthy. But definitely you would not say this guy's different. He's not different. Nope. He's injured, just yeah. like all other running backs are. <laughs> mm. The next one, Trent Richardson. Bust. Michael Lombardi. Literally the third highest graded running back he's ever he's ever had. Total bust. He was different, though. He was different, Sean. Mm -hmm. Then the next one, Zeke. I mean... Not even getting into the ring of honor. I don't consider Zeke to be Had a his hit. number taken by Stephon Gilmore. He was a really good player. <laughs> but to me, if I'm taking somebody fourth... I would I'm, take Jalen... Everyone and their mother should take Jalen Ramsey in that draft over again. Yeah. Like, Not even I, close. When I say hit, I've got a little higher standard. Like, I don't think Cam Newton was a hit as the number one overall Oh, pick. dude, I got... I I agree. I got crushed by David Hellman for that one. Day. Yeah. Wow. I mean, he, he had he had only... I think he had one year of a positive EPA plus CPOE. He was... Um, one MVP. That was the year. The rest of it, I mean, I mean, he's got a ton of six and tens on his record and... Okay. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Now, is that your list? Is that the rest no, no, of... No, okay. no, no. Oh, we ain't done. Marsh we ain't done, Marshall. We ain't done yet. We're still Marshall. here. Marshall was a hit. I don't think he was different. He was a solid, good, big running back. But I don't think he was a difference maker. He was he a good player. He was different in the sense of somebody that size and that physical yeah. and being able to catch the ball was different from what running backs are in the NFL. So with using it for that sense of just like he is very different and talented yeah. from what we normally see, I think that's accurate. He was good. He was, he was a good, good player. Not a Hall of Famer. Next in my, one. In my opinion. Leonard Fournette. He was also picked fourth overall. Mm. I mean, that's I wouldn't say bust city. But no, he was a bust. He, he knows was, he knows where the address is. He was, he, was re, he was released before he reached the end of his rookie deal. <laughs> yep. Todd Gurley. Mm, uh, mm, when mm. he was healthy early on, he was a hit. The and then that, that ended really quick. He had bad knees right off the start. The contract, too. The contract. They paid him. And then the other one is Christian McCaffrey. Todd Gurley may have been the end of running backs getting paid. Did Zeke get paid after him or before? Zeke got paid after him. Yeah, it was Zeke. Zeke and McCaffrey. Uh, Derek Henry got paid after Zeke too, right? Not as much as Zeke though, no. I don't think. Who was your last one? And McCaffrey, who went healthy's a hit, but there you go, there's your issue. Mm. So like of all these guys that fit in the category, like only one of them was the surefire, this guy's just different. And that's why I just reject the notion that there's ever such a thing as this guy's there. Yeah, if you tell me in, in 15 years, we're gonna look back as this is Adrian Peterson, go ahead. But if, but if the Cowboys signed, let's say the Cowboys went out in free agency and signed the player you think is the best running back in the NFL for four years, $14 million. You're out on that? Wait, say that again? The best running back in the NFL, four years, $14 million. You're out on that? Well, yeah, because I'm not drafting somebody for four years. I'm drafting somebody for a decade. At the, at the first, well, at, I mean, the, you have five round. years of control. But I mean, the, the point is, is that if you've got players there, when you're picking at 26... You're not picking guys for a decade. Yes, you are at 10, 15. You're not picking guys for a decade at 26, uh, uh, generally. I, you know, I, I, I just disagree. I mean, I, I, my first round pick has to be a day one difference maker. And, I mean, I need him for multiple contracts. Then, mm. I mean, then you just have unrealistic we expectations should, about what pick 26 is. You should do is. a research study on the lifespan of first, second, third round picks and what their average lifespan in the league is. It's probably very low because of the injury factor, too. Yeah, I'd have to I have to siphon so that out. If it's if it's three, four, five years, I can be talked more into running back. But if your first 15, 20, I know this is a twenty six. Your first round players are do the majority get a second contract or no? If the majority do get a second contract, I'm not taking a running back. If the majority don't, regardless of position, I could be I could I could be swayed over a little bit.